If you're an early adopter who dropped $2,000 on the Samsung Galaxy Fold, you might want to look away. Yesterday, a handful of reviewers all took to the internet describing Fold screens that broke after just a day or so of use. Not the kind of thing you want to see when you're shelling out multiple car payments for a new phone. A few of these reviewers admitted the broken screen was probably their fault. The Fold's interior screen is plastic and has a thin protective film on it, something Bloomberg's Mark Gurman and YouTuber Marquez Brown Lee thought they were supposed to remove. That didn't go so well. In both cases, the display started malfunctioning and was basically unusable. But even users who didn't try and remove the film have run into problems. Dieter Bone at The Verge said a bulge appeared in the screen, something he thinks is debris that entered through the hinge. Meanwhile, Steve Kovac at CNBC didn't encounter a bulge per se, but half of his screen was flickering badly after just one day of use. Samsung responded last night, saying that it was thoroughly inspecting all misbehaving phones in person to see what the problem might be. The company also reiterated that removing that protective layer on the display would cause problems and that it does plan to make sure buyers know not to remove it. While these problems are no doubt troubling to those who've pre-ordered, it's important to note that we're a long way away from this being a widespread issue. Engadget's own review unit hasn't had any issues, and also just keep in mind that a few isolated issues with review units does not mean that Samsung has a lemon on its hands. It's still not a great look for a $2,000 phone, though, and it's the kind of thing that could give potential buyers pause. We'll need to wait until the phone is widely available, of course, before we render any judgments. We do know at least one thing, though. Samsung is moving forward the Galaxy Fold launch, despite these reports. The phone will be available in the US on April 26th, with no signs of delays. We'll see you next week with more Engadget Today.